NC State and Alcorn State have never met on the men's basketball court. That changes tonight in Raleigh as the 3 and one Wolfpack meet the 1-3 and three Braves head on. We're in Valvano Arena, Reynolds Coliseum. Hello, everybody. Alongside Ernie Myers, my name is Andrew Sanders. Glad to bring you this ACC Network Extra broadcast. Ernie, when you look at the three and one Wolfpack, they're being led by the senior, C.J. Bryce, on both ends. He's taken a large step forward. Yes, he has. He's doing it all. He's averaging 20 points a game, 8.5 rebounds, and shooting 60% from the field, and leading the team in steals. He's doing it all. A true two-way player for the Wolfpack. Meanwhile, for Alcorn State, coming off a loss against Memphis in which they were without preseason all-swag member Maurice Howard, the sharpshooter. They're glad to have him back tonight. Oh, yeah, they're going to need his three-point shooting tonight. He's averaging 10 points. This will be his first game back. So they're looking forward to having him in the game. While he's been out, Troy Main Crosby has more than picked up the offensive slack. He's scoring 14 a game. Yeah, he's doing it all as well. He's uh, leading the team in scoring. He can go inside out. They're going to need a lot of him tonight to get a win. We are underway here in Reynolds Coliseum as NC State controls the tip. Wolf back in the home white. Alcorn, the Braves are starting out the man to man. Twelve on the shot clock for Braxton Beverly, and that's a knockdown three. You can't leave him alone. He's going to knock that down all night. And we expect to see some zone from the Braves as this game goes on, and Beverly will be a key part in busting that zone. This is Kobe Wilson off the mark, and an Surprising. offensive rebound from Corey Tillery. He was wide open on that shot. Crosby, tough move. And Johnson wants the push for the Wolfpack. Beverly from way outside. Yeah, I man, he's about a hash mark on that one. <laughs> that might be even outside of your range, Ernie. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Maybe. Nearly a turnover gathered by Isaiah Adels. Adels probing, kick to the corner. Crosby will take the mid-range. And another offensive rebound, this one to Wilson. Yeah, this is driving Coach Keats crazy. I think They're not getting rebounds. Somebody's Johnson coming out. Might have gotten a block <laughs> right there. Might have gotten a little piece of that. This is C.J. Bryce. And we've got Manny Bates. I think they call him for a moving screen. Yeah, Manny wasn't boxing out and rebounding on the defensive end. So here comes D.J. Thunderbird in the game. I think Thunderbird was already making his way over to the table, but that offensive foul just made it. Yeah, an it, easier decision. It, it, it made it a little easier for him to come in. <laughs> Here's the Wolfpack pressure. First turnover for the Braves. Helms all the way down the lane. Good move by Helms. And that's what the Wolfpack does. They uh, the stifling defense. They want their defense to turn into offense. Helms switches on Crosby. Clock to 10. Tough pull up. And the Braves are ice cold from the floor to start this. Nearly a turnover. It is a turnover. Good rebound by Helms. He just couldn't get the ball out to Bryce. I know Coach hates those unforced turnovers. Kevin Keats in his third season trying to bring the Wolfpack back to the NCAA tournament. And if you look at preseason projections, that's where they're expected to be. Pick sixth in the ACC. Well, if you pick six in the ACC, you're, you're making it to the tournament. <laughs> Devon Brewer, the big man, gives it up. Crosby will look to attack. And it's Beverly. Smallest guy on the court who gets the board. Beverly's pushing it. Well, no look pass in the corner. Helms passes on the three. And the Wolfpack with that drive and kick offense. Markel Johnson gets a couple of oohs and ahs. Tough shot. There's a lid on that basket right now for the Wolfpack. Well, your teammate Derek Whitberg would say that was a pass to TJ <laughs> Thunderbird. I know, right? Well, Thunderbird couldn't dunk it. 
We saw Wittenberg earlier today. Yeah, yeah, he's, he's in here somewhere. Five to shoot. Crosby realizes it, and I think, maybe he didn't realize it, I think he got fooled by the student section. Yeah, I think so. I think he got caught out there with the countdown, but that was great defense by the Wolfpack. There's Montez Robinson, who has done a great job at Alcorn State. 39 and 33 in the SWAC. See the 2017 Coach of the Year. Inherited a team that was under NCAA sanctions and then led the Braves to back-to-back -back winning seasons in both 2016 and 2017 for the first time in 15 years. Now Alcorn State no longer under NCAA sanctions and looking to continue that improvement. Well, it has been one and done on this end of the floor for the Wolfpack. Yeah, one shot. Nobody's crashing the offensive boy, but they're taking long jump shots, and sometimes you get a long, re you get a long bounce off the rim. Still nothing will roll in for the Braves, and there's going to be a foul, a push on Deshaw Andrews. Okay, that's the seniors' first, first team foul. Man, it's tough on the offensive end for both teams. Yeah. <laughs> Bit of a slow start. Combined one for 13 so far. Pat Andre's first touch. He doesn't waste any time. He can really fill it up, Ernie. Yeah, he can fill it up. He's instant offense off the bench. You can't leave him alone at the three-point line. And then Johnson takes it away from A.J. Morris. Daniels is wide open, so why not? Back-to-back -back triples for the Wolfpack. If Devin Daniels can hit that shot consistently all year, they're going to be tough, hard to stop. Timeout on the floor. Nine nothing NC State lead at the first timeout. We welcome you courtside here in Reynolds Coliseum. I'm Andrew Sanders. He's Ernie Myers, 1983 national champion. Well, Ernie, we got off to a pretty slow start in this one, a little sloppy from both teams. All of a sudden, three pointer, turnover forced, another three, and the Braves had to call a timeout. Yeah, they uh, they had to regather. State knocked down two three pointers, uh, extended the lead, nine zip. Yeah, they they need to get back into the game. Off that timeout, off the made basket. NC State can once again turn off this pressure that has bothered the Braves to this point. Yeah, full court pressure. They're having a hard time bringing the ball up the court. They got it over. So homecoming for A.J. Morris. He's from Raleigh with the Panther Creek High School. He's got the basketball for the Braves, and he throws it away. Markel Johnson on a run out. That's what that defense does, man. If you're not paying attention, good steal by Markel Johnson on the lay-in. I thought Markel was going to take off on that one. Yeah, he's saving a little bit. Yeah. Seems like. <laughs> a 6'1 point guard can really get off the floor. Throws the lob for Andre, and it's picked off. He left his feet before he knew what he was going to do with that, Markel. Three ball in transition, and there's the first bucket for Alcorn State. Corey Tillery. And that's what we thought they would like to do. If they can force some turnovers, they'll run when they get the opportunity. Yes, they will. They like to get out. Good move to the basket by Markel Johnson. Early 10-point lead for the Wolfpack, with the defense being the catalyst. We've seen the Braves eat up a lot of clock every possession. Good pass. And the catch inside, the bucket from Alonzo Campbell, the seven-foot senior. Good land by Campbell. He kept his eyes on the point guard, and he was rewarded. States got some pretty good size when you run out a seven footer like Campbell that can catch like that. But once again, it's Markel Johnson getting wherever he wants on the quarter. Yeah, he can 
he can get any way he wants with this defense they're playing. He's definitely taking advantage. Johnson already with a couple of steals and six points. Good pass here to the big fella for the lay-in. Makes your job a little easier as a guard when the guy's seven foot. <laughs> yeah, right, and he can catch. Yeah, and he can catch. <laughs> First meeting between these two teams, but NC State 17 and 1 in Reynolds Coliseum since moving to PNC Arena. Come back here once, sometimes twice, as is the case this season. CJ Bryce, it's a tough fall away, and this is just a tough place to play. 17 and 1. Yeah, 17 and 1. And I say it again, like it's no place like home sometimes. It's home for me here, but I know the PNC is their, you know, their home arena, but being here in Reynolds, man, it's just an uh, unbelievable feeling. Inside they go. A little lefty hook from Brewers off the mark, but what do we got here? Jump ball. Daniels and Wilson tied up. It'll stay on this end. Here's C.J. Bryce on the pull-up. He has a, a great mid-range game right here. Shooting 60% from the field. That's remarkable for a guard, and you can really tell he worked on that mid-range jumper. Oh, he has. Everybody's shooting threes, and they're forgetting about the mid-range game. So it's a lot of opportunities. Adels crosses over and kicks for an open three. From the wing, it's good. Dominic Bruton. That's a good-looking jump shot by Burton. He was wide open, though, and I know coach don't like that. Freshman from Cincinnati cashes in. And here's the zone that we were expecting to see from Alcorn State quite a bit. Daniels made his first three, misses this one. Bryce is just going to use his body so well. Good offensive rebound and put back by C.J. Bryce. He's playing with so much confidence. Nearly a steal. Nearly a travel from Adels. And then Bryce hit the ball from behind. At least that's what he's saying. He'll be whistled. Here's for the Markel foul. Johnson on the steal and breakaway. A little soft dunk right there for Markel. NC State up 11 here at the under 12 timeout. Back with Ernie Myers. I'm Andrew Sanders. 21 on the shot clock after the C.J. Bryce foul. His first, team second. And right There's out that. of the inbound, the steal. There's that defense creating offense right there. Great move to the hole by Devin Daniels. So Morris was trying to draw a charge here. Yeah, he was trying, but he didn't succeed. Great drive to the basket by Devin Daniels. Devin Daniels, like C.J. Bryce, a transfer. He came over from Utah. Made 13 starts last year, played in 36 games. And also like C.J. Bryce, he's a guy that can be a real two-way player for them. Yeah, he, he, he plays great defense. Sometimes he's out of control a little bit on the offensive end. But if he can play consistent this year, He's going to really make a difference on this Wolfpack basketball team. Crosby goes into Bates, and he is fouled first. Or pardon me, second on the big man, that moving screen earlier. Yeah, and that's what you do when you take the ball to the hole. You take it right to the chest of the shot blocker and make him foul you. Bates has just been on the floor for three minutes to this point. And it looks like he's about to come back out as Funderburk is at the table. Indeed, he will. As Crosby makes the first. Crosby is an 88% free throw shooter. Knocks both of those down. Alcorn State looking to snap a 22-game road losing streak. They're playing tonight. the 3-2 zone right now. 
The Wolfpack have to move the ball. Four to shoot. They get an open shot. Markel Johnson. And this will be last touched by Thunderbird out of bounds. Markel's, That's a good look for Johnson. Yeah, he was wide open. He's struggling a little bit with the jumper early in the season. But he is a good outside shooter. Yeah, for a guy that shot over 42% from outside last year, he is just two for 18 to start this season. He started the season off with an injury, so he's trying to get back into the game. He'll start making those shots as the season progresses. What do you like to say? You can't keep a shooter down for long? No, you can't keep a good shooter down. And you can't stop Devin Daniels going to the basket. <laughs> He's having a heck of a first half. He's playing great defense. And this trapping, stifling defense for the Wolfpack. Good ball to Kedron movement. Thorne. He banks it in, the freshman. I don't think he called that, but the bank was open. <laughs> this is the second made three of DeKedron Thorne's career. Here we go with the zone. They're playing that 2 3 zone. Nobody can stay in front of Daniels. No, nobody can stay. And they usually say you can't drive on the zone, but I guess they didn't tell Daniels that because he's going to the hole. And he's making it happen. Daniels going to get called with a blocking foul here. Here's Daniel on the drive through with the lay in. And here's Daniel driving on the zone, taking it right to the basket. He picks up that blocking foul, fourth team foul on the Wolfpack. Just the first foul on Daniels. We haven't seen Maurice Howard yet. No, steal by Funderburg. He's going to take off. Boom! Funderburg with the steal. And the throw down. Already 10 fast break points for NC State. And 12 points off of turnovers. And that's the kind of basketball that Kevin Keats loves to see. Yeah, he loves to see this type of basketball where his defense is creating offense. They don't have to get anything off the set offense. Just take off. That looked like a good block by Helen. He stops to Shaw Andrews. Devin Daniels gets a nice hand as he exits. So it's Johnson, Beverly, Helms, Bryce, and Funderburk on the floor right now for the Wolfpack. Tough Morris. shot. Clock was running down. Man, if he can hit that shot on a consistent basis, they're going to have a great season. Trying to beat that pressure. Campbell hits the side of the backboard, and Thunderbird says, hey, I'll take the rebound, and <laughs> Bryce will push it up. Bryce around the Thunderbird screen. Thunderbird put on a, about 20 pounds. Took the contact and finishes. Yeah, he, he looks good out there. You see the versatility of Thunderbird. He can either dive to the bucket, you can throw him a lob, or he can step out and knock down that mid-range. Andrews for three. Splash! Here's Markell on the push. He's going all the way to the... DJ Thunderbird with the Thunder Slam.
Well, when NC State comes back to Reynolds Coliseum, the greats oftentimes come back as well. Tommy Burleson, Alvin Battle in the house. Of course, Ernie Myers, you were a teammate of Alvin's on that 1983 championship team. Yeah, man, we wouldn't have won it without Alvin Battle's defense and tenacity. Uh, we, we were in the same recruiting class. That was a great recruiting class for NC State. And then they saw the great legend, Tommy Burleson, from that great 74 team. A nice shot from Tillery, Corey Tillery with his second bucket. Taylor is playing a great game so far out here. All Knocking points, down some shots. Alcorn State's actually shooting 80% from deep four, five from the outside, but getting dominated in the paint 16 points to two. Dominate on the fast break 15 to three. It comes out somehow for Beverly halfway down. Yeah, Beverly hit his first shot. He's been cold ever since. This is going to be DJ Funderburk with his first foul. Remember, Bates already has two. Now one on Funderburk. Here's Funderburk on the foul. Yeah, he bumped him. Oh, he's uh, he's on the putback. I'm sorry. So they called that bump on uh, fairly on the floor. Nearly thrown away. Crosby able to save it. Andre on him. 15 to shoot. Pretty move from Crosby. Could cap it. Here's one that goes down for Markel Johnson. That was a quick pull up by Markel Johnson. And he bottomed that jumper. Nine points for the senior point guard. Tillery's had the hot hand. This one is short. And the pack going to waste no time. Here's Markell on the push. Gets Helms an open look. Bang! Good setup by Markell. And great shot by Helms. 20 point lead for the Wolfpack, the largest of the game. And NC State also shooting hot from outside at 5 of 11. Offensive foul, barely bowls over Jericho Helms. Here's Markell on the setup three. Bang. Here's Helms with the wide open three. And he's posing. <laughs> Gotta love a point guard that can do both. Knock it down, set it up for others. That's the mark of a good point guard. You always got to keep your eyes open when Markel Johnson has the ball. Price with a follow won't go. And that's one he wants back. Yeah, he wants that back. He got a good rebound. And he didn't come down. He just tried to put it back in while he was in the air and missed a chippy. Here's the trap. Here's the trap. Got four seconds to break the timeline. And they just, got just it over. do. Crosby's three is bottom. Pretty looking jumper by Crosby. They needed that three. No answer from an Andre. That's his shot. I'm surprised they left him open. He's going all the way. Just over. when he thought he was out of control, no, sir. <laughs> yeah, he, he grabbed it and, and knocked it down with the left hand. So, Deshaun Andrews now with five points for the Braves. They've cut the lead to 15. It's a turnover. Oh. He caused that foul. He got right in front of uh, Andres. First foul on Andre. On the one hand, that's a pretty good move by Morris. Like you said, he, he creates yeah. the contact. Yeah, but, he uh, created the contract. I mean, you draw the foul on the other hand, though. Andre's a pretty big guy. I yeah. Don't know if, <laughs> yeah. I'm, I, you don't want him falling on you. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if that's a move you want to pull all that often, but it works for Morris. Oh. He draws another foul. This one on Braxton Beverly. Just his first, team's seventh, but this will be a shooting foul. 
He is. He caused the contact on that as well. He saw Braxton Beverly coming, and he got right in front of him and uh, created that foul. Making a homecoming tonight. As I mentioned earlier, went to Panther Creek High School. Spent two years at Chattanooga State before transferring to Alcorn State. This is his junior season. And upon graduation, he wants to be a sports broadcaster. Hey. I can respect that. I can respect that. But you got to wait, man. <laughs> <laughs> Morris gets the second. He now has four points. NC State had led by as many as 20 at one point. Now the lead is 14. All good hands by Crosby anticipating the pass. It was a good thought by uh, Daniels. Good hands by the defense. Braves starting to find their footing in this one. Good pull up by the big fella. Kobe Wilson, six foot nine, but he's got that range. Free throw line extended, and it's an 8-0 run for Alcorn State. The fans here starting to get a little restless. Yeah, they, they, they've shot themselves right back into the game. Braxton Beverly is ice cold. Here come the Braves, as I mentioned earlier. Haven't won on the road in 22 games. Looking to change that. Taylor is short and potentially numbers here for Bryce and the pack. Johnson passes on the open three. Good pass. I Helms will go to the line when we come back. There's a big fellow on the pull up. Bottom. Here's a look at some of the renovations done a couple of years ago to this gorgeous facility, Valvano Arena, Reynolds Coliseum, now containing the NC State Athletics Hall of Fame, uh, and where all the greats are enshrined. And Ernie, what does it mean to you to come back here, and, and what does Reynolds Coliseum mean to you? Oh, man, like I said in, in the beginning, you know, like when Dorothy said, uh, you know, there's no place like home. There's no place like home. That's just how I feel. I mean, this is, you know, I grew up in this gym and uh, in front of these fans and, and was able to win a national championship. I was just looking at the video, Lorenzo Charles' jersey. Uh, you know, he's passed away, but he was one of my best friends. Um, this, this place is uh, it's magical. It's electric. It's an honor and a privilege to be back here doing this. Morris goes hard to the rim, and it's just an 11-point lead for the Wolfpack. And as Alcorn State has kind of found their footing offensively, NC State, which has been so devastating to the Braves on the fast break, they haven't been able to get that motor going. Three for Johnson. And Good offensive rebound. rebound. Oh. That's badly needed for the Wolfpack yeah, yeah. right now. He, that was a lucky save right there. Shot clock is already back down to 10. Remember, new rule this year. It only resets to 20 on an offensive rebound. Tough, Tough shot by, my, by Markel. He was not ready to shoot that. The clock was running down. Montez Robinson shouting out orders. He's got to like what he's seen from his team over the last five minutes or so. Yeah, they're playing under control. They're getting what they want out of their offense right here. This guy right here is playing. Deshaun Andrews goes hard. Andrews is taking it to the hole. He's put them right back in the game. It's a nine-point game. State needs a bucket. Guess who they go to? C.J. Bryce ends in over four minutes scoring drought. Impressive move by C.J. Bryce on the baseline with a nice finger roll. And that seems to be a role that he stepped into this year. You need a bucket, you go to number 13. Good move. Morris can't get the scoop to fall. And that's the first stop 
for NC State, it seems like, in quite a while. Daniels going back to his bread and butter. Not this time. Saved by Brewer. Daniels has been getting that all game. Just missed that on the lay-in. I think he feels like he can get to the basket anytime he wants. But still by Braxton Beverly. Good pass to Daniels on the lay-in. Fourteen Wolfpack points off of turnovers, and now the press can get set up. They stretch back out to 13. And the Braves can go two for one here if they choose. Oh, good move. Devon Brewer just rips through Helms. Helms was... Helms was face guarding him. And he was able to get to the basket and throw it down. And we've got a technical foul that they call on Brewer for, I believe, doing a pull up on the rim. I didn't really see a whole lot there, Ernie. Me either. But Bryce is going to shoot. Here he is. Helms with the hand check. He just blew right by him. Yeah, he pulled up a little on him. He did. He did Bryce, a chin up. <laughs> yeah, Bryce makes the free throw. Maybe it's just a matter of personal opinion. I don't, I don't mind a little chin up, personally. No, I, I mean, it was an emphatic dunk. I mean, sometimes you got to let that go. <laughs> you got to let the player feel that one. He felt that. Got a two-second differential between shot clock and game clock. And Markel Johnson in no hurry here. Got the freshman Bruton on him defensively. Tough shot by Markel. He settles for the three, and that'll do it for the first half. We saw NC State get up to a lead as large as 20. They're going to the halftime locker room up 12. Yeah, it was uh, the Braves came back. They started getting what they wanted in transition. And in the set offense, you know, rebound. They were hitting, knocking down shots. And they weren't turning the ball over as much. So they got right back into the game. Yeah, good finish for the Braves this half. We'll take a quick break here on the ACC Network Extra. NC State up 12 at the half. Back with Ernie Myers, I'm Andrew Sanders. Time to look at some highlights from the first 20 minutes of competition here. And it started with NC State, a Braxton Beverly three kind of setting the tone. The Wolfpack had the hot hand from the outside early. Yeah, they did. They, they were getting what they wanted. Here's Daniels on a nice three-point pull-up. They were getting whatever they wanted. And those threes were going down. Here's Helms with the three in the pose. And then the Wolfpack defensively got the Braves off to a slow start and able to get it going in transition. 18 fast break points for the Pack in the first 20. Yeah, they, uh, Daniels, you saw him get the rebound and bring the ball all the way up court to his DJ on the flush. And here's Markell on the steal. They were getting steals. That transition defense was turning into offense for the and Wolfpack. Forced nine turnovers from Alcorn State. But I tell you what, you look at three-point shooting while it was NC State early, then the Wolfpack went cold. Meanwhile, Alcorn State was able to knock in a few. That's what they do. Yeah, that's what they do, and they, they got their shots to go down. They're shooting 41% from three-point range. Uh, this is where NC State is killing them in the paint. 20 to 10 and fast break baskets 21 to 8. There's a look at highlights and stats from the first half. Don't go anywhere. We'll be back with more in a moment. <laughs> <laughs> for sure. <laughs> He's the most swaggiest. He 
He's all about his image. He's a pretty boy for sure. I respect it though. I respect yeah, for it. sure, for sure. Kevin Keats. So I would say his entire paycheck would be probably on to Kale Siddle. Me would be shoes, not my entire paycheck on clothes, but if you're saying just shoes, it would be myself. Coach Keats, without a doubt, if anybody who knows and watches wardrobe, particularly a shoe game. I'm going Coach Keats. Never seen him wear the same thing twice. Back here in beautiful Reynolds Coliseum, the building with so much history. There's Ernie's coach, the great coach Valvano, his statue outside of this facility, and all the history, all the memories, its importance, not just to uh, college basketball, but college basketball, especially in the South, and uh, just a tremendous venue. We welcome you back courtside here with Ernie Myers. I'm Andrew Sanders, and of course, of course, you play with, with Coach Pete. Yeah. Can yeah. Coach you tell me a little bit about you know your recruitment and, and what it was like to play for him? Yeah, my recruitment was he saw me playing as a sophomore. He was at Iona College, and he said, Ernie, he followed me in the locker room. He said, Ernie, I'll be back to get you in two years. Now I didn't know he was going to be at NC State, but he was the first guy knocking on the door saying, hey, Ernie, I knew two years ago. I knew before all these guys, <laughs> you know. You're coming to NC State. And I was like, Coach, I got to give it to you, you know. We're both New Yorkers. <laughs> yeah. We came down here to the South and uh, made history. Yeah, no doubt about it. 1983 National Championship, of course. And, you know, thinking about past and present, Hey, this, is, uh, this is something pretty cool, comparing some old players and new players. Who did it better, Rodney Monroe or C.J. Bryce? Hey, Rodney Monroe is the all-time leading scorer here. I think C.J. Bryce wish he had a jumper like Rodney Monroe. I think a lot of people <laughs> wish they had a jumper like yeah. Rodney Monroe. How about your guy Chucky Brown and D.J. Funderburg? That's my teammate, Chucky Brown, on the dunk right here in Funderburg. Uh, I got I to give it to Chucky, man. I got to go with the 80s guys, man. Yeah. All right, how about... NBA dunk champion Spud Webb or Markel Johnson? Two athletic point guards. I, 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 but Spud, I mean, you, he won the NBA dunk contest, man. That's, <laughs> and that's my dude right there. I, I took him out on his recruiting trip. Yeah, these are all your teammates. All right, Pat Andre, Dick Dickey, you got the underhand free throw. That's old school. Oh, that's real old school, man. That's Rick Barry. That's back in the day right there. Andre is a... He, he's a knock, he's a knockdown uh, shooter from three, <laughs> but you, you couldn't shoot him like that. So no surprise. How about Lou Pasillo, great point guard here at uh, Braxton uh, Beverly? One, one of the best to ever yeah. do it here at NC State, Lou Pasillo. Braxton Beverly was, is a knockdown shooter, but as far as a playmaker and point guard, and Lou Pasillo had a flair for the game back yeah. in the day. You know, he threw behind the back passes and all that. So I, uh, I don't know. I got to give it to Lou. So no surprise, Ernie Myers. He's taking the old school. Yes. Yes. I got to go old school. Right on. <laughs> All right. We got to take one more break. When we come back, we'll have Ernie's keys to the second half. Just about ready to begin the second half here in Raleigh, North Carolina. NC State 44, Alcorn State 32 at the break. Just enough time as we welcome you back for Ernie's keys to the second half. What do you got, Ernie? Yeah, I got the Wolfpack has to, you know, keep up their defensive intensity and protect the ball. They've turned it over a little bit. And for uh, the Braves, keep doing what they've been doing to get them back in the game. They've been not turning the ball over, getting shots in their offensive sets. And if they keep doing that, they, they can win this game. Yeah, it really seemed like a snowball effect for the Braves. As they were able to score a little bit more, that aided them on the defensive end. Yeah, 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 ab absolutely. They picked up the intensity as well. So we'll look to the start of the second half. And NC State protecting this home court 17-1 and in Reynolds since the move. And meanwhile, I didn't really fully highlight for Alcorn State. Yes, they haven't won in 22 straight road games. The last win was February 17th of last year at Alabama A&M. Uh, they play a ton of road games, especially in the non-conference. Of course, everybody plays the same number of road games in yeah, conference. Right. But get this. But these guys are used to playing on the road. Yeah. They're used to playing in front of in hostile environments. So this is not phasing them at all. 
Braves picked ninth in the SWAC preseason poll. The Prairie View was picked as the favorites just barely over Texas Southern and Grambling. I know the coach, Coach Keats, had a spirited conversation with his team at halftime. <laughs> it looked like the Wolfpack were poised to maybe run away yeah. in that first and, half. And, and let them back in the game. The Braves were able to reel them back in. The first half, or the second half starts the same way the first half does. Yeah, start, just not, that's how the game started. A Braxton Beverly corner three. like that. The lead is 15. Moore's trying to dribble around Rice. He does. and gets swatted by Bates. And that's what Coach Keats needed. Uh, he needed a rim protector. And that's what Bates, Manny Bates is, a rim protector. And he can do that too. And remember, with those two quick fouls, he only played three minutes in that first half. Yeah, he got in foul trouble. And he's right back in the mix. He's not been sitting over there too long. He need to get back in the game. The freshman has already become a fan favorite here in Raleigh, and you can see why he's a difference maker when he steps on the court. Yeah, he's very active. He moves very well. He has a Dwight Howard type physique. A little friendly roll there for Crosby. Nice baseline jumper by Crosby. Beverly's not shy. Crosby's pushing it. He's going all the way. And I tell you what, Devon, layup. Devon Brewer helped kind of seal Bates and protect the, his player from the rim protector. Crosby takes the contact. It's an offensive foul. Braxton Beverly stood his ground. And picked up that offensive foul. Here's Crosby all the way with the lay-in. Pretty move. And here's Braxton Beverly taking that charge. Coach Keats loves that. Giving up your body for the team. Try a three. Tracks down his own rebound. Markel Johnson with the straightaway three and the set offense. around Beverly, inside the Brewer. Brewer thinks he can take Manny. I love the way Markel Johnson probes the defense. And Wilson said, I'll give Daniels that shot. He took it. Daniels with the three-pointer. Couple of threes in a row for the Wolfpack. Crosby trying to go inside. Gets his own board off of the tip. And then has nowhere to go around Bates. Manny said, get that out of here. Johnson's wide open. From the corner. In and out. Manny said, didn't you read the scouting report? <laughs> That's said, this, not is, an, this is what I do. <laughs> yeah, it's not an enviable position to have the basketball directly underneath the rim with Bates standing over top of you. Oh, no. Nah. He's going to start a fast break with that. Morris had his shot blocked by Johnson, who shows off the hops. So will Daniels. Oh. He was going for the flush. Here's Markell on the straightaway three. Bang! Here's Braxton Cup. Beverly. 
Devin Daniels. He tried to tear it off. <laughs> yeah, look at the guy. Look at look at uh, the way he looks at him. Like, no, that wasn't happening, dude. <laughs> Couple of competitors going at it. AJ Morris, Devin Daniels. They meet at the rim, and it's a foul on Morris. Daniels to the line and gets the ball. Devin Daniels is a 70% free throw shooter. Knocks them both down. Redshirt junior from Battle Creek, Michigan. He's got a team high 15 points now. He's been aggressive on both ends. Largest lead now for the Wolfpack. It's ballooned to 21 here to begin half number two. Isaiah Adams into the corner. This is Tiller. With the left hand. Beautiful move. You see Manny Bates there? He had to make the decision. He was so <laughs> high up. Yeah. I, I can't Golden. He, he lofted that one up really high and nice right over the top. Oh, Markell with the shake and bake dribble. Up, but not under. And off of Bates' foot last. Markel Johnson got up to a hot start in this one. He's got 12 points, six assists. Campbell wanted the lob, not going to get it. Layup won't go. Markel was on the push, but it rolled off as its foot. It's the seventh NC State turnover in this one. Bates, Helms, Johnson all come out. Andre, Bryce, Thunderbird back in. NC State playing an eight-man rotation. Danny Dixon, A.J. Taylor, still a little bit banged up. Andrews has shown that he can knock down the outside shot. He's also gone hard to the rim a couple of times. And the senior from York, South Carolina, draws the second foul on Andre. Yeah, he has some aggressive drives to the basket. He's, he's not afraid. Andrews spent his first couple of years at South Carolina Salkahatchee Junior College. Seven percent free throw shooter. Knocks down the second one. Behind the back to Beverly, who will inbound or pardon me, entry pass it to uh, Thunderbird. Thunderbird with the step back off the bank. And the bank was definitely open for him on that shot. It's a little old school shot there. Yeah, he called that. <laughs> he took his time and faced up. And knocked it down. Andrews again, hard to the rim. He attacks, lost it. Bryce with the three on two. Ahead to Daniels. Two more. Bryce on the push, made the right decision. Giving the ball to Daniels. The Braves come back with breakneck pace, and it's Corey Tillery. That's his Beautiful. second three. Pretty three on the pull-up. Out to Andre from the wing. Good. You can't leave that guy open, man. He has a beautiful jumper. Kevin Keats calls timeout after the Andre three. NC State has knocked down five of its last seven. Now has its largest lead at 22 points. Full court pressure here against the Braves. Isaiah Adels to try to break it. Yeah, the Wolfpack is going to apply the pressure to the end of the game. This is not going to stop. 
no matter what the score is. Taylor he lost the handle. Daniels makes another defensive play. He's played an awesome game today on the offensive and the defensive end. And you can see he's looking for that lob, throws a little off the mark. They'll work it around to Beverly, who passes up the three, drives baseline back out to Daniels. Hey, and it's when it's your night, it's your night. It's your night, man. He's getting a roll. He's making great drives to the basket. He's causing turnovers. Devin Daniels, balling. Game high, 19 points for Daniels. Campbell is there, seven-footer. He tried to squeeze it into Thunderbird, but it didn't work. Osby keeps that pivot foot nicely. Left it short. You hear the expectation in the crowd. When Andre lets it go, <laughs> they think it's going they think in. It's going in. Yeah. And he's earned that reputation because he's been knocking these threes down lately. And Andre came in as a 47% three point shooter. C.J. Bryce on the rebound, and he gets up. Took it in down the lane, and there were quite a few purple shirts in there. Devin Daniels. Well done by Campbell. They say he goes straight up, nearly a throwaway. And Daniels is called for the foul. He ends up amongst the photographers. Next Sunday, we'll have the number one women's team and the number two men's team in a college basketball doubleheader. First, Sabrina Ionescu and top-ranked Oregon square off against number 20, Syracuse of the Carrier Dome. That's at 4 o'clock Eastern. Then, second-ranked Louisville host Akron. Both games are on ACC Network and the ESPN app. How about that? Louisville ranked second in the country out of the ACC. And did you see the Oregon women in an exhibition beat the United States national team? Wow. A college team. <laughs> A college team being the beat full those pros. Team. Oregon's got a tough women's basketball program. Well, both of those teams, Oregon and Louisville, on the women's Ooh. and men's side, both very talented. Sweet pass, thread the needle. Brewston. Wolfpack sharing the basketball. And one, Andre for three. And that's what he does, man. Here's Braxton with a nice pass to Johnson. To Andre's. For the and one three-pointer. Possible four-point play. Pressure is Andrews, the best three-point shooter for all Corn State, buries it. 13 points for Andrews. 
And he pulled up with, for that jump shot with confidence. He saw what was down low waiting for him. He said, nah, I'm just going to pull up for this nice three-pointer. Well, when you're shooting almost 60% from outside on this young season, why not? Came in 7 for 12. He's 2 for 2 tonight. 8 to shoot. Here's the Braves on the push. A.J. Morris thought about the shot. Instead, he'll go inside. The seven-footer, Campbell, turns over that right shoulder. It's a break. Good defense down low by D.J. D.J.'s like, give me the ball. Pick and roll. And are they going to get Funderburk? They will. So the moving screen. Number two on D.J. Funderburk. Playing in just his third game this season, averaging 14 and 7. And he'll check out, as will Andre and Johnson. Beverly Bryce Helms back on the floor. Yeah. DJ looks good. And he's come back strong. Andrews Juan and Morris to come help him with the basketball. Give me a jump ball. When Helms goes after the basketball, it's like he's going after your life. <laughs> you know what I mean? That's the kind of intensity you want. Yeah, that's the kind of intensity you want. When he's going after the ball, man, he's going to do whatever he can to get it. And I know Coach Keats loves that. And an open shot buried by Dominic Bruton. Nice pull-up jumper by Dominic. Back lead back down to 20. Little floater from Daniels on the baseline. No. Andrews corrals the rebound. Still time for the Braves. Look to make something happen here. Yeah, a couple of threes to put you right back in the game. Good drive to the basket, but look who's waiting for you. Manny Pates with the block. Oh. Manny Pates with the two-handed rim rocker. Beautiful ball movement by the Wolfpack for the Manny Bates slam. up and Andrews Grilly's going to drive it hard. The foul's going to go against Helms. The block by Bates was clean, but he can do it on the other end too. He can do it on the other end too. Look at this interior passing. Bates with the monster slam. Well, tonight, Devin Daniels has been the star for NC State. 19 points, his career high is 21. Yeah, he's been under control. He's been probing the defense, getting steals, going to the basket. Here's him with the pull-up jumper. Bang. He's just making it happen. Here he goes with the drive to the basket. Everything's going for Devin Daniels tonight. Here's a look at NC State and lost Torin Dorn, but other than that, returned six of their seven leading scores from last year. Look at the percentages that they bring back, and Torn Dorn was a big-time player for this team. But outside of that, a lot of experience returning. We add in some newcomers like a Manny Bates, like a Pat Andre. And you can see why the expectations are high for this club. Yeah, yeah, that's why they picked sixth in the conference. I mean, if they keep playing like this, if Devin Daniels keeps playing like this, and C.J. Bryce and, you know, uh, Markel Johnson, they're going to be a tough out in the ACC. Bates, got to go to work. He Big had great body. position. That was a good move. He just needs to work on that turnaround jumper. I mean, uh, hook. Jump hook.
Daniels not going to force it. Instead, he'll pull it out. Back down the lane. Blocked by Brewer. Brewer said, I'm tired of you coming in here, laying this ball up all game. Get that out of here. Devon Brewer, third in the SWAC last year in blocks. Better than one per game shows you why. Transition three, Tillery again. Well, that's been his shot all night. They swarm Bates. And they rule it a turnover. Yeah, the big fella brought the ball down, and he, he was off balance on the rebound. So he was trying to get rid of it before he stepped out of bounds. Here he goes, he's going out of bounds. But his mistake was bringing the ball down, and they started reaching for it and knocked it off his leg. Beverly out, Johnson in. Pass from Morris into Wilson, who passes inside to Brewer. Tipped by Wilson, they're going to wave it off. Still in the cylinder, they say. Yeah, here's the pass in the interior. The ball is on the rim. Tips it in. That's goaltending. Daniels ties his career high. Daniels has been playing within himself. Sometimes he goes to the basket with reckless abandon, but tonight he's totally under control and he's making the right decisions on offense and defense. Scored a double figure 16 times last year and his best effort was 21 points against Western Carolina. Tillery's wide open. He got it. Tillery's played a, a, a good four game tonight. Off the bench. points for him. Good pass. CJ Bryce, the playmaker. Beautiful assist to Helen. Yells out the set here, 10 to go. Picked up his dribble, needs some help. He finds it in Wilson. Tough turnaround, good. Nice turnaround by Wilson. Well, if he can knock down that turnaround consistently, you see with his length, not too many people are going to bother his jump shot. No, he's long and lean. And if he can hit that shot consistently, they're going to be tough in the swag. Kobe Wilson wears number 10. His nickname is 2 4. Because it's Kobe. <laughs> Great offensive rebound and put back by Helms. Helms, the third Wolfpack player in double figures. And wow, Tillery with the rainbow to get it over Bates. Yeah, he, he dropped that right over Bates. Bates thought he had that one. But he did the, he used the teardrop. Big block, Crosby. And Helms here comes Troy May. Down the lane for two. Crosby. The lovely lay in. He went to the hole hard on that. The leading scorer for the Braves now has nine points in this one. Johnson. That's pretty. Beautiful move by Markel Johnson. He just lowered him to sleep and then laid him. Morris finds an open shooter. It's Crosby. Rebound to Bates. NC State looking to salt this one away. Johnson again. Markel Johnson is playing a great floor game. Wow. 
Timeout, Montez, Robinson, and Alcorn State. Markel Johnson with back-to-back -back buckets. Here's Marcus Johnson on the sweet left-hand lay-in. NC State up 21 with that eight-man rotation. And they've been pretty efficient tonight. That's 52% shooting for the Wolfpack compared to 42% for Alcorn State. You look at NC State, three now in double figures. Daniels with 21. Johnson with 16. Helms with 10. And then a few guys poised to potentially reach that in Andre, Funderburk, and Bryce with 9, 8, and 7 respectively. And uh, with this smaller rotation, I think, than Coach Keats would ideally like to play, mm -hmm. uh, everyone is sharing the basketball, and you're seeing five in multiple games and uh, six against FIU scoring in double figures. Yeah, and I got to give Markel Johnson uh, a lot of credit in this game. You know, he's got this reputation of not showing up only just for the big games. You know, that's what I've been hearing, but he came to play tonight, and he's doing a great job. Set the tone, especially early on, 16 points, seven assists, a block, a couple of steals, got some easy buckets early. And he's running the show. You know, he's getting back into the game, and these are the games that you got to play. I mean, every game, you got to show up for every game. And, and I think he heard that, and he's playing a great floor game tonight. Let Markel Johnson play off ball here as Daniels brings the ball up the floor. He wants a Thunderbird screen. Thunderbird pushed way outside on the catch. Well, nice move. Flying in for the board. Hook shot goes down. Helm has been on the offensive glass. He's been eating it up. Nice putback. As he gains more confidence this season. Another board for Helms. Whoa. Johnson has that ball on a string. <laughs> Good pass. Beautiful pass on the setup. He kind of just lulled him to sleep. A couple of freshmen making their way to the scorer's table. The fans here enjoying the end of this one as we go under one minute to go. Good pass. A whistle will stop the Wolfpack fast break that ends with the Bryce flush. And all Mark L. Johnson can do is smile. This one, the break with the kick out to Mark L. He got fouled, but he had the right idea. So for NC State, a couple of freshmen come in. Chase Graham, young man who is from Raleigh, as is Max Farthing. Two local Raleigh products. One from Athens High School. It's 23 Devin, for Daniels, new career high. Devin Daniels is just putting on a show tonight. State played with a lot of heart tonight. Going to come up short. I think you got to give them some credit because after that loss to Memphis, you think, okay, might get blown out. Yeah, they and got they blown stuck out. in this game. Yeah, they stuck around. I mean, Memphis blew them out by 50. And to come back in here in Reynolds Coliseum and play a, you know, a tough NC State ball club, they showed some heart. 
Daniels, the player of the game for the Wolfpack, with 23 points, will dribble this one out. NC State will improve to 4-1. The Wolfpack led this one wire to wire in 87 64 victory. Protecting home court. That's big. Whenever you can, you know, protect your home court uh, in this type of environment with a, you know, kind of an undersized team, but they came hard. They played hard. The Braves came and they played hard. The Wolfpack protected home court. NC State with back-to-back -back games here in Reynolds Coliseum goes 2-0. Oh, your old home, Ernie Myers. A lot of great memories here in Reynolds. Yeah, and Kevin Keats is creating some more memories here at Reynolds Coliseum. <laughs> That'll do it for our broadcast. For Ernie Myers, I'm Andrew Sanders for our great crew. Thank you so much for watching. Good night from Raleigh, 87-64, the final. You saw it here on the ACC Network Extra. Good job.